So today everyone, I'm going to be looking at the Microsoft Office 365 um, solutions for personal and family uh, use. Uh, specifically, we're going to be looking at how we can go about setting up a custom email domain for your Office 365 uh, family account. So looking over at the Microsoft Office 365 website, we can uh, compare the, the plans and we can see that you've got the Microsoft 365 family uh, coming in at $79.99 a year. Uh, you've also got the Microsoft 365 Personal Edition, uh, which will cost you uh, $59.99. So about £20 difference, you can uh, you can have everything you get in personal. The difference being is that this allows you to have up to six people. Um, so six people get the benefits of all of these features here. So you've got Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, <coughs> Outlook, Access and Publisher, uh, as well as um, uh, OneDrive, Skype, Microsoft Editor, and the Microsoft Family Safety. So anyway, let's quick take a quick look through. Uh, up to six people, multiple devices. Obviously, as you'd expect, it runs on Windows, Mac OS X, iPad OS, uh, iOS, and Android. Uh, each person gets up to one terabyte of OneDrive storage. So for me personally, when I purchased this plan for my, me and my family, um, you know, the, the OneDrive storage was, was what I really purchased it for, to be quite honest with you. Um, I, I had previously been using uh, Nextcloud, and prior to that, I was using uh, Dropbox. I think my I think my Dropbox account originally like was like 14 gigabytes of storage I had available, which was free. I didn't have to pay for that. Um, however, since then, like I was saying, I then moved to my own version of uh, hosted version of Nextcloud, uh, which which I thought was great. But what I wanted to do was rather than have the the management overhead, and I didn't really want to have to uh, maintain that. So I decided that for 80 pounds a year. Um, to be honest, the benefits that you're getting with Microsoft Office 365 is actually pretty decent. Um, so obviously the OneDrive, uh, you get all of the Microsoft uh, Office apps, and um, for you also can you know share it and share it around your family. So uh, my daughters they can use it for school and college. But specifically in this video, I'm going to be looking at setting up a custom domain for our Outlook uh, or Office 365 um, email. So. What we're gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna log into my account now. So I'm just gonna come across to here. And as you can see, I'm in my, my account and uh, I've got no emails in here as yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click onto settings here. And we're gonna scroll down, I'm gonna go view Outlook settings. Next, we wanna click on the premium option. So we've now got this option here, which is will help you buy or import a domain from GoDaddy. You can use it to create a personalized email address. So let's click get started here. Okay, so your Microsoft 365 subscription lets you create a personalized email using a customized domain. Outlook.com partners with GoDaddy to make this work. They'll help you buy your new domain and then we'll set up your new address. Okay, so what we'll do is we will uh, click uh, get a domain. So as you can see, this is now opening up the GoDaddy website and uh, we're asked to enter a domain here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to use a fictitious name. We're going to use joystick and we're going to go in .media. I'm just going to use uh, joystick.media as, as the domain because I know it's available and um, we can take that, we use that. Okay, so I'm just going to search for that. And uh, as you can see, that is available and joystick.media is uh, 14 99 So I'm going to click buy there. Okay, and at this point I'm gonna click no thanks. And I might as well just log in my Google account. Next, and... Okay, so I'm just at this point is definitely a good idea to uh, make sure your domain name is is uh, correctly entered, uh, and we're just going to check. Uh, we're just going to check here that um, how how long we actually want to register the domain for. 
So I think for now what we'll do is we'll just register it for one year and it will notice that it's uh, 14 99 So I'm going to hit pay with PayPal. Okay, and uh, once that's done, we can just hit finish here. So this now means that anyone actually uh, using our email on our um, Microsoft 365 package will now get an at joystick.media uh, address. Now I must stress this, um, the domain is obviously meant for your family. So, so it would normally be like your family name. Unfortunately, I, I can't get my family surname on there at all. So I need just a fictitious name, um, a fictitious domain name that we could use for the purposes of the video. So if you are actually making a company and making lots and lots of money from it, or it's a just company in general, obviously do the right thing in the Microsoft um, Office business or Microsoft 365 business accounts uh, and packages, they're gonna be more sort of uh, tailored to what you want to do. Um, but, but for this, for the purposes of this video, like I say, just got a fictitious domain name, which I might stick on my YouTube channel, I don't know. Um, but that's what we're now using uh, for this. So, so now what we can do is, as you can see, of our custom domain to our Office 365, um, tenant, if you like, uh, is um, has now been set up and and completed, and we're now being asked to uh, enter a, enter a personalised email address, and then that should, in theory, link that that personalised email address to this inbox that we're looking at now. So um, I'm just going to use Bobby. I'm just going to use Bobby at joystick .media. and I'm going to click next. As you can see, uh, we can change the address later if we, if we want. So it's fine, I've just hit Bobby for now. And um, there you go, so personalized email address is now created. You can now send and receive email with the address bobby at joystick.media. So I'm just now gonna click go to go out inbox. What I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna test this out. I'm gonna go on my phone and send one from my Gmail address and um, hopefully we will, uh, we will get it um, in our inbox. Okay, so I've just hit the uh, send button on that. So hopefully in a few seconds, we should get it to our inbox. Um, normally there'd obviously be things like DNS propagation, which may delay the uh, the delivery of this message into my inbox. Um, but fingers crossed, uh, obviously we're recording this video, so fingers crossed it will appear very shortly. Okay, so I've actually just got this, uh, I've got this delivery report back um, telling me that the address is not found. There's obviously a, a delay in the DNS uh, propagation at the moment. So what we're gonna do is we'll leave it for a bit and we'll come back in a few minutes. See you in a sec. Okay, so good news. Uh, it's literally been a couple of minutes and I I actually, what I decided to do was go and check my inbox and I found that I had an email in there uh, from GoDaddy saying I had to verify my email address. So I verified the email address by clicking the link in the email um, and what I've done now is I've resent the email and it's literally just popped up. So within literally two minutes of me verifying that my email address for my new GoDaddy account, it must have enabled the domain and, and sorted out the DNS. So anyway, this is now uh, the email and uh, that's now popped up here. And um, so as you can see, it's been delivered to Bobby at joystick.media. And as you can see, it's a quick test message from, my, uh, from when I sent it from my phone using my Gmail account. So that's Great, I, I actually think this is fantastic and value for money from Microsoft. Um, like I say, uh, you can now create other other Office, other Microsoft 365 accounts, sorry, I should say, it's not Office 365 anymore, it's Microsoft 365. So anyway, um, you can now go and create other accounts for your family and then it'll have a at joystick media, uh, joystick.media domain or you know your own custom domain. Okay, so back into the Outlook, um, into the Outlook settings here. Um, I now have the ability to uh, share my Microsoft 365 family subscription with people. So if I now click this share subscription button, <clears throat> as you can see, I've now got the options to share up to five other people and everyone gets um, the premium productivity apps, one terabyte of OneDrive storage, which is again, fantastic. Um, 60 minutes of Skype calls per month and advanced security for all your devices. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna add someone else. So I'm gonna click start. And what I can do is I can now invite them via an email or via a link. So I'm gonna use via a link. 
The reason I'm using the via the link is so that I can just do it now whilst we're actually recording. Um, it's obviously important that you guys see the process of this and you know how the other person will get it. So uh, Microsoft 365 has now sent me this link. I can copy this. I can either select all of it uh, clearly or just click this little uh, copy button and then close it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is using that invite link, I'm now gonna paste it into uh, a Firefox and uh, I'm using the, the private tab there so we don't get any session, uh, session information saved. So now I'm gonna click get started. Okay, so for the purpose of this, I'm going to create a new account here. I'm just going to call this Ruby. Okay, so as you can see, uh, now on Firefox, I'm logged in with uh, Ruby's, uh, Ruby's account, so Ruby underscore joystick at Outlook.com. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my Microsoft account. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, so manage Microsoft 365 family. And we just wait for it to load. So from here, your users can obviously install their apps um, or use office.com uh, and, and also open up their OneDrive account. So clicking here, opening up our OneDrive. Um, as you can see, we should now Ruby should now have one terabyte of storage available to her, and we'll just accept the default. So there you go. We're getting one terabyte of storage. Blah blah. blah. Congratulations. Next, and we we'll just close that. Okay, so there you go. Uh, one point one megs of eleven of one terabyte. Fantastic. Great. Let's just quickly go back to Outlook, and specifically, I want to make sure that she has access to the custom domain name. Okay. So, because I think this is something that you actually need uh, them to opt into. It's not just a case of setting up on the domain uh, and it'll automatically apply to all accounts, um, which we're actually gonna have to either set that up for them or tell them that they need to go and go to this particular place in Outlook.com uh, for them to set that up. Okay, so I'm now on Ruby's uh, Microsoft Outlook uh, mailbox. And um, as you can see, we're getting some of the default uh, emails that we get from Microsoft. So I'm gonna now go and set our custom email address for our custom domain for specifically Ruby's account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and click over onto this gear icon here and go to the same place that we did on our original admin stroke domain admin account when we first um, set up our subscription for Microsoft 365. And again, we're gonna go and click on the premium option here. And we've then got the uh, personalized uh, email uh, email address section here. And as you can see in this bit here, it's saying at joystick media. So we're gonna say, get started. So now we're just gonna use Ruby at joystick.media. And as it did before, it's gonna validate the address. And I'm just gonna get ready now to send a quick test email to her as well from my phone. So I'm just gonna open up Outlook again. Okay, so a quick test email there to, uh, to Ruby. I'm just gonna hit send and uh, go to inbox and hopefully any second now we should get another email. There you go. So we've got, there you go from me. It's just hello Ruby and, uh, and there we have it. So the Ruby's Microsoft 365 account which comes under the Microsoft 365 family subscription that I have is now fully working and she's now getting emails at that custom domain. So obviously you can send links to uh, other members of your family uh, in your household. If they want to use that custom domain, they will have to go up to this uh, this gear icon here, view Outlook settings and then over to premium and then uh, use the, the getting started again over here. But anyway, so I hope you found this video useful. Um, I think that's really all there is to show you. I just wanted to go through the process. Maybe you won't, you, maybe you were concerned that maybe you couldn't create a DNS record and have it point to an external server and maybe you'd be forced to use GoDaddy's website hosting. Um, however, I'm pleased to say, obviously, as I'll demonstrate here, that's not the case at all. Um, it's cl it clearly is just a case of Microsoft partnering with GoDaddy and then creating those initial DNS records for you. Um, and, and then obviously, uh, once it's created, you can then manage manage the domain from your GoDaddy account and you can create as many DNS records as, as you like. 
Um, but yeah, unfortunately, you know, in my personal opinion, if I was able to use uh, Namecheap, my normal domain registrar, then that'd be fantastic. I understand why Microsoft are obviously doing it because the more the, the premium Microsoft 365 uh, for enterprise and, and small business, you can use whatever domain registrar uh, and Microsoft just tell you what records you have to set up to obviously point to the mail servers that Microsoft have. Um, so yes, yeah, so Microsoft do provide those details. However, unfortunately, Microsoft 365 family package and probably the, the personal one as well, um, you know, they're, they're not giving out those details. They're obviously kept that 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 feature that that functionality is something they want to keep in the more premium and enterprise packages okay guys so i hope you really liked the video um i just wanted to show you as much as i could really uh, be as informative as i could i did have a look online to see if there's any sort of videos of this process and obviously you know things are changing all the time if you've got any questions uh put them in the uh, the comment section below and i'll do my best to uh, reply to every one of those comments or questions Thanks again for watching the video. If you would like to support this channel and see more content like this, please subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified. And I'll uh, see you in the next one.